What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Recently, I just got some very exciting news about me returning to work and I wanted to share with you guys because everybody that follows my career journey videos and checks out all of those ones, they've been asking me recently, what am I doing? How did things go? What career path am I choosing next? And we're gonna be talking about that today as well as what happened yesterday when I received the phone call from work. So, I'm pleased to announce that I am going to be finally returning to work. It's been about a year and a half now out of work. It has sucked. Um, I have had here in Canada, they did give CERB, so I was lucky enough to be able to qualify for that. And I've been on EI ever since. My EI is supposed to run out in September, so it's perfect timing that they're calling me back to work now. Now, they're going to be opening uh, the casino here in Ottawa, the Hard Rock. They're going to be opening at 50% capacity on August 16th, and by September 1st, they're hoping to be at fully open. And I know that sounds crazy that the casino has been closed this long. In the U.S., since Hard Rock does own it, the U.S. has been open for months and months. Other casinos in Ontario have been open for a couple months now. It's just ours, they had to wait. I don't know if that's because where we're located or... Uh, the reason behind it, I'm not sure, but it took a year and a half for us to finally announce a reopening and I was lucky enough to be called back. Now, I am going to be going in for one training shift prior to the 16th. The one training shift, that way it doesn't affect my EI or any of that. I'll still be able to claim my EI in that, but going in for one training shift and then I should be back on the 16th starting once again. Now again, I'm going to be working security overnights at the casino it's going to be a challenge at first, not only getting back into work after a year and a half, but with how I am now, I'm not 100% set that I want to do nights. I'm excited to get back to work, to be back at the casino, to be back doing nights, but I don't know how long I want to do nights for. I know since I'm at the bottom of the seniority list, being able to get um, afternoons, which we call swings or days, is going to be extremely difficult, even though eight full-timers left and a bunch of part-timers left and are not returning, it's still going to be hard for me to move away from nights based on my seniority, and I do need to get as many hours as I can. I might as well stick with nights, that way it's not split up where it's a day shift here, a swing shift there, a night shift there. It might be, hopefully, five days of night shift a week at the casino, which will be amazing. I'd be gladly happy to do that. The only reason I think it'll be a little bit difficult is I'm in a happy relationship now. Me and my girlfriend, we have plans to move out together. This is going to help those plans, help me get enough money that we should be able to do that within the next year or so. But it also does scare me because instead of me having all this time to spend with her and her family and my family, now I'm going to be working and having to spend time after work, but also make sure I have enough sleep to go into work the next night. So it is going to be challenging at first, but definitely we are going to make it work. I do need to find work. Again, I just don't know how long I want to do nights for. I love working nights at the casino. It's a lot of fun, a lot goes on, and it's better than swings and afternoons and days in my opinion, just because the atmosphere for mornings, it's more older people coming in the casino and it's more medicals for that reason, which I hate medicals. I'd rather kick people out that are drunk or not aren't supposed to be there, and that usually happens at night shift. Afternoons are just way too fast. You can't even catch your breath, so nights are, what I prefer right now at the casino, but again, I don't know how long I want to do, want to do nights for. With a bunch of people leaving, I don't know, maybe it'll be better to do swings now, or days, or maybe it'll just be a nice change of pace, but again, based on sonority, I don't know if I'll be able to achieve that. One thing I've been considering, actually I've been considering a few things for a while now, one is to get my uh, real estate license, that's something that interests me, I don't know if how good I'd be doing in that field because that'd be a complete change in my career path. I decided to hold off on that because it is about $6,000, which I do have enough saved. It's just, I don't know if I want to fork that over if I don't know if I'll do it or like it. The other option is to do my use of force training because a lot of security jobs here in Ottawa are requiring that. That's something that I found out I was supposed to have at work and they provide it at the casino. I never got it, so hopefully in a couple months they'll be able to provide it for me and I won't have to pay for it out of pocket. The only thing is doing it now, you can do it online for some reason. Doing use of force online makes no sense to me, but it'd be an option for me if I did it myself. 
I think I might just wait for work. Another option is my private investigator's license, the dual license. I only have the security guard one, so I would have to take the exam, uh, do the um, course for private investigator, do the exam, and then write the provincial exam again, I believe, and then upgrade my current license to the dual one. That's an option because I see a lot of jobs there. About 20 to $30 an hour at the casino. Right now I'm making 19 so for now at least, my plans are to stay at the casino doing nights for as long as I can. At the time that the site closed was almost near one year, at that time I was really close to being done with nights, just mentally, physically. Having a year and a half off was nice to spend time with family, with my girlfriend, and everything going great there. But now going back to work, I want to do nights, but I don't know how long I'll mentally want to do nights for. It does take a toll on you. Um, you don't get too much time to yourself and your first off day is always a rate off because you usually sleep most of the day, which hopefully I'll still be able to do stuff. So when it comes to me buying and selling, because as you guys probably see on the channel, I do buy and sell. I sell on eBay, Facebook Marketplace, do buy things to flip for profit. I will have to do that. I'm obviously going to still do that because I love doing that, love getting the extra money in, especially if it's Facebook Marketplace, I don't have to claim it on taxes, don't have to deal with fees, don't have to deal most of the time with shipping, but it is a lot of fun and I get extra money. So I am going to be doing that still, but on the side with this. So I'm going to be returning to part-time like I was before. So I could get two shifts a week, three, four, up to five shifts a week but it's not guaranteed I'll get five shifts a week. Since I'm part-time, I might start with two shifts a week, but since they're just opening back up, so many people left, I'm sure I'm going to get the hours that I was used to before. That's at least my goal right now. I'll let you guys know in the future if I am getting my hours or what's going on. At least me returning to work, I am gonna have, once again, hopefully some funny stories. Now, whenever it comes to stories about work, there is confidential, uh, issue. I'm going to have to change some details, names, stuff like that, but I will try to give you guys some stories and stuff like that that happened while I'm at work. But hopefully I'll still be able to buy and sell, flip for profit on the side, make some extra money, work three to four shifts a week. That's my goal. Five shifts would be amazing, but three to four shifts a week and then I'd have a couple days where I could make sales and buy things to flip. That'd be awesome. But also I want to make videos for you guys because I love that. YouTube right now for me generates roughly $200 to $300 a month, which is not a lot, but it definitely does help, especially since I've been off the, a year and a half. It does add up and it is awesome that I get so much attention and so much uh, love and support from you guys. That's why I want to continue making these videos and that's why I wanted to share this video of what I plan on doing if I'm going to be staying. I'm obviously returning to work, but for how long? Right now it's kind of unknown, but I am thinking private investigator. I am thinking once it does open up again, corrections. Uh, I did apply to Brinks, but I don't know if they're just not hiring right now. My application has been sitting for a long time. If you guys want, I did get requested that I make a video talking about Brinks, how to apply. Um, or any armored car here in Canada to be an armored guard for an armored vehicle, how to do that. I will make a video on that very soon. I just wanted to share that I'm returning to work and that there's more videos to come about my career journey. It's just been a while. A lot of things weren't hiring here in Ottawa for security other than minimum wage, which I just couldn't accept that right now. I'd rather stay on EI and wait and hold out for something that was better. And I did, and that was me returning to the casino and that's going to be awesome. I get $19 an hour, great benefits. I'm glad to return, but I do want to have a plan B of if I get tired of it, what will I want to do kind of thing. So thank you guys for all of your love and support along with this career journey. And now you guys know what I'm going to be doing with buying and selling. That's going to be really part time after I get back to work. And also with me uh, doing YouTube, I might have to reduce it down to two videos a week instead of the regular three videos a week. We'll see. I do have enough that I can do videos for months and months now, but how much time am I going to have to record once I'm back to work? Who knows? I really want to spend time once I'm back to work. My free time, I want to spend that with family. So hopefully I'll still be able to buy and sell, hopefully make videos, but I'll let you guys know in the future. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.